Hi everyone, so we are on Thursday of week 23 doing our corrections for what is hopefully our last corrections from home for Master Your Maths. So the first one, 9.09 .09 plus 2.77 plus 5.49. So adding decimals as we were doing last week. So when you're writing them out, just make sure that your decimals are lining up and they're all in the right place. So 9 and 7 is 16, plus 9 is 25, so put down my 5 and carry my 2. 7 and 4 is 11, plus 2 is 13, carrying my 1. 9 and 2 is 11, plus 5 is 16, plus 1 is 17. And then don't forget to bring down your decimal straight underneath. So 17.35 is our answer there for the first one. Question two, 0 0.8 is less than 0 0.1, true or false? So that's going to be false because 0 0.8 is greater than 0 0.1. Question three, is 777 divisible by six? So that means can we divide it in without there being a remainder? So let's divide it in and see. So six into seven goes one time and one left over. Six into 17 goes twice. 6 times 2 is 12, so 5 left over. And 6 into 57 would go 7 times. 7 times 6 is 56. So I'm going to have 1 left over, so the answer is no, it is not divisible because I have that remainder there. Question 4. 8 apples cost €3.20, so I need to find the cost of 3. So the first thing I have to do is find the cost of 1, and I'll do that by dividing 8 into €3.20. So 8 into 3 doesn't go, so I'll bring over my 3. 8 into 32 goes 4 times, nothing left over. And 8 into 0 goes 0 times. Don't forget to bring down the decimal there. So that means it's 40 cent for 1, but we want the cost of 3, so we'll multiply by 3. 0 times 3 is 0. 4 times 3 is 12. So put down my 2, carry my 1. 0 times 3 is 0, and then your 1 is one. So don't forget to put in your decimal then, so we're two places over, so we'll go two places over. So three apples cost one euro and 20 cents. So I'll put in my euro sign there now as well. Okay, question five, 0 0.5 kilometers, we need to write that as meters. So keeping in mind that there's 1,000 meters in a kilometer, so don't be tempted now to write 75 meters. It's going to be 700 and 50 meters sorry so remember 0.75 is like three quarters of a kilometer and three quarters of a kilometer would be 750 meters question six write 7017 in numerals so that's easy enough 7017 so there's no hundreds 7017 question seven Three quarters is greater than seven eighths. True or false? So three quarters would actually be the same as six eighths. So that one is false because seven eighths would be greater than six eighths. So false is your answer. Question eight. Seven plus seven plus seven plus seven plus seven is the same as something times something, which is something. So there was five sevens altogether. So five times seven which would be 35. Question nine, one side of a rhombus is nine centimeters. Its perimeter is what? So a rhombus now, that might've been hard if you weren't sure what a rhombus was. A rhombus is a square that's pulled out of shape. It's kind of like a diamond. So we know that the sides of a square are all the same. So the perimeter is the length of all of the sides of the square. So it would be four times nine because it's four sides. And then four times nine, is 36, so 36 centimeters. Question 10, pour one liter of milk into 200 milliliter glasses, how many glasses are filled? So really that's like saying 200 into 1000 because there's 1000 milliliters in a liter. So that's actually the same as saying two into 10, which is five. Okay, so five glasses altogether. Question 11, write 25 tenths as a decimal fraction. So we have a top heavy fraction here, the number is bigger on the top 
than it is on the bottom. So that means I'm going to have some whole numbers here. So 20 tenths would be two units and I'd have five tenths left over. So 2.5 would be my answer here for this one. Okay, question 12. Order from smallest to largest. So sometimes these are a little bit tricky because you kind of have to change the fractions in your head to work them out. So I've got a half, three quarters, one quarter and three eighths. So straight away I'm thinking one quarter is the smallest. I know one quarter would be the same as two eighths. So yeah, that would be bigger than three eighths. So I think a quarter would come first. Then one half and three quarters. Now um, three quarters I know is bigger than a half. Four eighths would be the same as a half. So three eighths must come next. And then you would have your half and then three quarters. So I would say one quarter, three eighths, one half, and then three quarters for this one. Question 13, so we're on to the problems now. If I bought a packet of each seed, what would the total cost come to? So I have to add all of these now to get the total cost. Okay, so I have my five numbers written here. If you wanted to break it up and do a few sums you could, I'm just gonna put all the five of them together, but it is gonna be a small bit trickier, but I'm sure we'll work it out. So I've got 3.5, 